Hi guys, my name is Gerd Gemskull and welcome to the brilliant backyard update in The Sims Free Play. There are some amazing features with this new update. You can see here this AR feature that they have got. Oh my goodness, this update has just dropped today and I can't wait to take a look at this AR feature. This is only available to players on iOS, unfortunately, so any Android users the AR isn't for you, but it says, your Sims take a step into the real world with the Sims Free Play augmented reality AR feature. Select a real world location and watch your Sims house spring into existence, ready for you to renovate and furnish. Have one friend join you to style the ultimate home you can almost reach out and touch. Sound absolutely incredible. There is a video on the Sims Free Play Facebook page. If you want to check that out, I'll put a link down below to that, but we will definitely be checking that out in an upcoming video. The first quest event thing that we get with this update is the brilliant Backyard Live event. This is a new live event. There is a time limit of nine days. Everything you need to create your dream backyard for entertaining and relaxation. Collect craft items to unlock new prizes and choose the ones you want. So this starts on the 15th of October. 2018 and lasts for nine days obviously time zones will affect when that is for you obviously it's out for me right now you will get this pop-up if as long as you've updated your game and you want to click on start collecting and this is like all the other live events we have had so many live events before we kind of should be knowing how they work by now for the brilliant backyard live event, we need to make some arts and crafts items. Now that you have a crafting station, your sim can make arts and crafts items to unlock prizes in the brilliant backyard live event. Have a sim make some candles. So this will be slightly different or maybe slightly different for you, depending if you haven't got a candle station placed down, you won't have, you'll have to like place a candle station down before you get that pop up. But yeah, it's all about collecting. <laughs> Those arts and crafts, I'm pretty sick of it, but let's go ahead and we will get started on it. I recommend a little tip just to get you started off is bring four sims over and use all four candle stations and get going with just collecting candles on all of them just to get a few extras just to start off. There we go, they've finished making their candles, so we'll go ahead and just collect all of them. And here we go, here we have the brilliant backyard kind of grid system thing. I don't know what you would call this, but this is where it shows all the prizes that you can win. So you can see that the first prize is the pretty planters that cost 50 candles. Let's just come out of that and we'll just follow along through what we need to do. We need to restock a crafting station now. So same again, I'm going to restock all of them at the same time so they can all be done. If you don't do them all at the same time, you won't get that option to be able to do that. Here we go, we have restocked the crafting station. We need to buy the pretty planters pack now. So to get your grid back up, I don't know what you would call it other than like the, the grid. Go to the top left, because I'm doing a pregnancy event. I've got like a two thing there, but you may just have the one up there. Click on there and you want to go, not into there, that was just to collect things. Go and collect the, or purchase I should say, the pretty planters. And that is the first prize that you will unlock in this event. We go that is done and now use a coin flower patch so let's just go and buy one in fact i'm gonna start off it is night time here so i am gonna do the eight hours and 30. i would generally recommend that you do the two hours and 31 on this but obviously because i'm gonna go to bed i am not gonna be able to get on the game and so the eight hours 30 is the one that makes the most sense four times when you can't get on the game but let's place the coin flower patch that's in the home store in the event items and in the coin flower patch let's play in the flower. there's the coin flower patch let's place that one down you know what i'm talking about right and let's click there and we've got a free one to start off one free spin plant and this is where we're going to get constructor coins if you've done one of these events before you know the deal by now oh i thought we were going to get something good no one one constructor coin of course of course, it's only one constructor going. Check out the daily goal. So this is kind of just a little tutorial taking you through how to do the event if you haven't done one before. So you need to go into the tick button. 
the tick tab I should say at the top and these are your daily goals definitely always make sure that you are completing these daily goals because the constructor coins is the thing that everyone seems to kind of get hung up on and not be able to complete the event with the constructor coins but you can gain quite a lot of constructor coins every day by completing all of the daily goals there we go that's task complete collect bonuses yeah so this is another thing another little tip that I always say to people have I not collected I've not started over here always say to people come on the game with these live events you need to just come on the game as often as you can because these sims will pop up with bonus candles or bonus but bonus arts and crafts items as they are doing their crafting those items really do add up in over the whole like nine days you really do get a lot of bonus items here you go you can see they're starting to pop up now Oh, we just got one. Collect bonuses. There we go. And continue collecting items. So yeah, so that is just, that's the tutorial just ran through. That is what we need to do. Just continue collecting the prizes and obviously we'll unlock other arts and crafts stations as we go along. But let's go into the grid. So we have, so we've got the, the pretty planters at the top there. And then, so as we go along, we will unlock the frosted screens, brilliant benches, pleasant planters, Outdoor kitchens, outdoor luxuries, and the grand prize is a brilliant backyard house. So you can see here we've got short screens. They're nice. I do like the screens. And long screens as well. These benches are pretty, right? We've got short benches and then long benches. We've just got, yeah, like two different colours. Probably the nicer colour is going to be LPs or SPs. That seems to be what they're doing to us recently. The short planters. Enjoy this collection of short planters complete with complimentary birdhouse and fountain. These are nice. Check those out. Yeah, I really like those. And then we've got tall planters. I really like the outdoor kind of decoration stuff that we've been getting. Yeah, that's awesome. I like those. Outdoor cabinet fridges. Hmm. Are they all fridges? Are those two fridges as well? They don't look like fridges to me. They just look like cabinets. Yeah, kitchen cabinets. Yeah, one of them is a kitchen cabinet and one is in a fridge. Yeah, that makes sense. And then more outdoor kitchen cabinets. So we've got corners and different colours there. Outdoor cooking Feed all of your guests with barbecue. We've already got barbecues and pizza ovens, but are these... Is this a different style than we've already got? Or different colours? I don't know. What's the deal with this? I think maybe it's different colours. And brilliant bar. Complete your outdoor entertainment experience with these great bars, fountains and feature screens. Oh, I like that screen. Okay, that's nice. And then the grand prize, if you unlock all of these items, we will get the Brilliant Backyard House. The Brilliant Backyard House template will make your sim the envy of Simtown. Perfect for entertainment and relaxation. So let's take a little look at it. You can press, and if everyone knows that, you can press the magnifying glass to get a closer look. And let's just have a look at this house. So has it got lots of the new stuff, maybe? This looks like a house we've had before. Is it a rehash of the house? I think it's a rehash of another house. Presumably it's just got, oh, some of the new items. I like this look of the, with these planters. Those benches look really nice. That fountain looks nicer actually in person. Well, not in person, like, but you know what I mean? In, the, in a build than it does in that other thing. I wonder if we can actually place things in front of these screens and place screens together. I know that we had a problem with the previous screens that we couldn't actually make a corner with them or couldn't place things in front of them or something in the past. So I wonder if we actually can do that ourselves. And then, oh, look at this. Yeah, this is the kitchen with the barbecue out. This is nice. Yeah, that looks really nice. The house is quite nice, actually. We have had this house before, though, yeah? Ooh, what? I've never... Whoa, where's that from? Not seen that before, that little hour clock. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we've had this house before. We just get a few 
a few items. It would be nice to have a different template house Sims we play, but okay, fair enough. Do we have a basement or anything? No, we don't have a basement. Okay, let's come out of that. So there you go, guys. That is the brilliant backyard live event. I just want to wish you all good luck with it, as always, with these live events. My tips are to always do the two and a half hour one if you can get on the game and come onto the game as often as you can to collect the bonuses. Make sure that you're always collecting your daily goals. So don't, for example, complete all the daily goals is 20 LP, but to collect the, to complete all the daily goals, you have to buy or unlock a prize. I would suggest make sure that you don't buy a prize whenever you can. Make sure that you've got enough, this is gonna make sense, make sure you've got enough prizes left over to buy in the last kind of two, three days of the event when you're gonna need your extra 20 constructor coins. I know that makes sense, maybe it doesn't, but I know what I mean anyway, hopefully you do. And yeah, it's just come on the game. It's the, the main tip really is come on the game as often as you can and do the two and a half hour thing. But good luck. Let me know what you think of this down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you pretty soon for the AR video. Thanks for watching. Bye.